Hello everyone, my name's Sarah. I'm running a session today for Harper Bazaar Art. Um, and I want to talk to you very quickly about an artist from a long, long time ago called Vasily Kadinsky. He was born in a city called Moscow in Russia in 1866. Um, and here's a photo of him. I was tempted to wear it as a mask today, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Mr. Kandinsky made lots and lots of lovely, lovely artwork. And today we're going to do some of some work inspired by his painting called Squares with Concentric Circles. We'll just call it circles though, because if you look, there's lots and lots of beautiful coloured circles inside squares. And that's what we're going to do today. So hopefully you've all printed out the template. If you haven't been able to print out this template, not to worry, you can just get a piece of paper, get a pencil and just draw lots of circles inside some squares. Um, and very soon we're going to get started with doing this. Now I've done a few examples today to show you. Um, today live I'm going to be doing some painting of the circles. Um, but I've also done some on these ones were done with wax crayons. Really easy to do. So if you don't have paint, you might have some crayons lying around. These ones were done with coloured pencils. So again, you might not want to use paint. Might be a little bit messy. You might not want to get too messy, but you might have some coloured pencils around. And these ones I've done using felt tips. So it's really simple. Whatever you've got around, you can use. You might just have chalks. You might have pencils. You might have crayons. You might have paints. You might have felt tip pens. You could, you could just improvise with whatever it is that you want to do. Now I'm going to show you Mr. Kandinsky's picture again. Because if you see, we don't even have to be really good at doing colouring in. Because he does lots and lots of smudgy bits. So it doesn't matter if you go over the edges. It's perfectly fine. It's acceptable to make this piece of artwork whatever you want it to be. You're going to make it your own creation. So that's what we're going to do today. You're going to need to get everything that you need ready. So if you're going to use paints, go and get your paints and your paint brushes. You're going to need your coloured pencils, your felt tips, your wax crayons, whatever it is that you choose to do this artwork with. Don't forget your printouts or your drawings of your squares with circles in. And while you're running around getting all those bits together, I'm just going to show you a very quick video of me colouring in like a speedy maniac um, the felt tip versions that I did earlier.
Right, we are going to do some painting. Um, or I'm going to do some painting and you're going to do whatever colouring it is you want to be doing. Right, now that you've got all your bits together to do this work, this piece of artwork, I just want to show you what I've got here. I've got a printout that I've done just on a piece of A4 cartridge paper. So that's just done on a normal printer. So it's black and white um, and um, is all ready to go with lots of colour. I've also got these little pots of paint. Um, that I think we got from the works so they were quite a cheap set um, if you do need to get some paints at any point I'm not expecting anyone to go out and buy things um, to do this piece of artwork um, you can just use whatever it is that you've got um, like I said I've done some with felt tips I've done some with wax crayons and I've done some with coloured pencils and all of them have come out perfectly well um, and uh, you can use them for whatever it is you want to use them for but we'll discuss that at the end anyway let me just show you I've got some blue some light yellow some brown uh, bright pink red bright yellow green a very dark bluey purple colour and um, this pot of what should be bright orange paint but my son mixed it in with possibly some other brownie colour and so it's not quite as bright as it once was but that doesn't matter because if we look again at the work that we are inspired by today he uses lots of different colours and not all of them are bright you look here this isn't starts off as a bright yellow but then goes into this brownie colour like his paints have kind of mixed together so it really doesn't matter you can use whatever it is you want um now you can follow what i'm doing if you've got the same kind of colors that i've got or you can just use whatever it is that you you want to use whatever colors you choose to use what i will say however is try and make sure that the color that sits next to another one is completely different from the last so that they all show up It doesn't matter if they blend together a bit um, and it doesn't matter if you go over the lines. Um, the important thing is that you enjoy doing this piece of art. So let's start. I'm going to start with, I always start at the top corner to my left hand side because I am right handed. Um, and that means that as I go along the piece of paper, I'm not going to be smudging any of the work with my hand. If I used my left hand as my main hand to do my painting, I would start at the top right corner. And again, so that I didn't smudge my work as I was going along. So let's start. Um, the first thing I do is I start at the edge of the square and then I'm gonna work my way into the center circle. So I'm gonna start with this blue color doesn't matter as I said if you go over the edges this is your piece of artwork there are no real rules to it you can go over the edges you can even start to draw things inside the circles if you want at the end of it you could even turn them into crazy faces and put some googly eyes on so this first circle that I've done, this first square, rather, only has the four corners because the rest of that area is taken up with a circle. So it's not got very large space around the circle. So I've used blue, so I'm going to use a completely different colour now. So let's go with a red. Now, when I use my paint pots, See that? I've got lots of paint on that paintbrush. The way to stop it from dripping and putting too much paint on your paintbrush is to just put it on the edge of the pot and just 
drag it slowly so that a lot of that paint goes back into the pot so you can reuse that and then you haven't got too much paint on your brush to use so every time I put my brush into my paint pot I give it a little tap a little drag along the side of the paint pot just to get rid of some of that excess paint so see I'm already going all over the edges and everything really doesn't matter you can do whatever it is that you want to do with this this is your piece of artwork and it doesn't matter how many people create one of these today every single person's is gonna look different from everybody else's everyone's artwork will look different so now I've got I hope you can see that I've got a blue edge and a red circle so now I'm going to do the next section so going towards the center the next one isn't a full circle it's just a section of a circle so I'm going to use a contrasting color which means a completely different color to the red so I've chosen to use this green okay and I'm just going to just if I'm going too quickly for you it doesn't matter there's no you don't have to do this at the same speed I'm doing it you've got lots of time that you can do this you don't even have to finish it today you can finish it whenever you want to finish it this is a great project to do if it's a rainy day because then you can just stay indoors and create some artwork and giving someone a piece of artwork always cheers them up so the next color I'm going to use is this light yellow and again I'm just going to do the next circle so all I'm doing is I'm just painting around the next circle I'm kind of going over the lines a little bit where the black lines are on the paper but you know what it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter at all I hope you're enjoying what you're doing so I've used a yellow so why not use oh, this lovely bright pink colour there it is and again I'm just going to follow the edge of that circle all the way around and sometimes I turn my brush when I'm painting because the other side if I just turn it just a little bit with my fingers just like that the other side of the brush might have a bit more paint on it so I don't need to put it back in the pot again so now I've only got two sections left to do on this first piece so I've used this dark purple colour and again I'm just dragging the paint off of the paintbrush on the edge just so it's not too much paint which means that the painting will dry quicker and the colour won't run so much into the other colours and then all I've got left to do now is that centrepiece so let's do that and I've chosen to use orange as the first centre of the first section there So that is my first one done and as you can see if I'd used lots and lots of paint as I held it up it would all be running now wouldn't it but thankfully I haven't so that's the first one done
hope you've had lots of fun today doing your artwork. Now I'm going to give you a very quick summary of some of the things you can do with it. Now, let's just first of all show you my finished painting. You would have seen me doing that on a time-lapse video and obviously I started that as a live video. Um, that's just done with children's poster paints. Really dead simple. Children's brushes. Nothing fancy was used for it at all. So you don't need any fancy pants um, artwork um, equipment. You can just get on with whatever you've got really. And you can see again that's the pencil, coloured pencil version that I did. A felt tip version, a wax crayon version and on here, I don't know if you can see this, I'm hoping that you can, here if you cut out your bit of paper with your finished work on, obviously if you've done paints, wait till the paint's dry, um, but if you cut out your work with the finished squares, punch some holes in the squares with a hole punch really simple to do thread some string through let me show you how I've done that on the back that's all it is I've just thread two pieces of string through to the end and then you can create your own wall hanging you can hang them on windows, you can hang them as a uh, door hanger, you can hang them wherever you want. Um, these also, if you cut them up, look great if you do them as uh, greetings cards for somebody. So if you know somebody that's got a birthday coming up, um, or you just want to do a nice little card to someone to say thank you for everything they've been doing for you for from lockdown, um, then please get arty and do it. Um, I would love to see any of your finished works um, so please do post up in the group um, any of your finished pieces that you've done I really really hope that you've enjoyed doing this today um, I'm going to upload this video onto YouTube as well and I'm sure Under One Roof will be sharing it again um, so if you do want to do it again please do um, the information will be available um, and you will be able to find the template and all the details that you need on any of my social media sites. Um, I hope that you've had fun and you've enjoyed being creative and your artwork is something that you can be really proud of. Thanks. Bye.